Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, like I promised yesterday, I'm going to um, make over some of these Dollar Tree bunnies. So uh, this is how they come and they also come in white. Uh, so we're going to be making a couple of sets of these and I'm just going to do a set of white and a set of the brown. And uh, this will be a little couple. So I start out by removing all the tags and then uh, I coffee stain these. And the way I coffee stained them was to dip them in some strong coffee and then wring them out the best you can. There's actually gravel in the bottom of them so you can't wring them out really well. And I put them in the dryer. Mistake though, because um, some of the gravel came out of one of them and uh, and the arms are glued on so the arms fell off and um, so this is um, I would just recommend that you um, that when you coffee stain them you just wring them out the best that you can and then uh, maybe hang them outside to dry now another thing you could do is what I'm doing here and use this antiquing ink and just really go over it well with that. That's what I did on this one. And um, the, the, the other one that I did with this set, I did that way. But when I got to the white, I just didn't feel like this would work well on the white. I felt like it would just be too harsh. So um, that's why I end up uh, coffee staining all the rest of my sets. But it did work really well with these brown ones. And now I'm starting with the female bunny. Uh, like I said, I got these last year and had some left over. Uh, I have been to uh, the Dollar Tree though this year and they do have these. Or mine does. Mine had plenty. So I actually picked up a few more. Now I'm trying something new with this video. My friend Lori has a, a YouTube channel where she plays relaxing uh christian piano music and uh, i i thought that would be a good addition to my channel when i'm not um when i'm not needing to voice over it's something that uh, will be very soft and she is a beautiful pianist so um I'm going to attach her channel in the, in my, uh, or her channel link in my description if you want to go over and check her channel out. So as you can see here, I'm taking some gathered lace and gluing it around the neck and that will just make her a little collar. And this is another one of those um, uh, projects that are very, very simple. Uh, but makes a, a very big statement, I think. Uh, it makes a really big difference in these. It takes it from a Dollar Tree bunny to uh, something that um, I'm going to put $18 a pair on these. Uh, my sister thought they should bring 12 to $14 each. Uh, in my area, it's just a little tougher because... Um, the prices are a little lower here in my area, so it just kind of depends on where you live. Uh, but you just be the judge when you finish it, and I always just look at it and, and think about what I would pay if I wanted it. Now I started out here uh, just tying this lace around the neck, and then um, I quickly changed my mind. Uh, it just, I didn't like the look of it tied around the neck so um, I'm adding that here but you'll see that I remove it later so this is another one of those projects that you can just use scrap lace on and literally on that one I just cut an irregular shape of lace out and kind of frayed the edges somewhat and then glued that on and now I'm going to glue a button in the center of that and that just kind of adds some little touches that make uh, that's going to make her look more shabby chic. So one of the things that I need to address with this bunny is, is the face. Um, I, 
took some of my antiquing ink and uh, muted the nose down and that helped a lot. Uh, but I wanna do something different with the eyes. So what I decided to do is cut a little circle of lace and kind of fray the edges some and then glue that over the top of the eyes. And that's not gonna be the eyes, that's just gonna be kind of a background for the eyes. Uh, I just felt like it kind of shabbied her up a little more. So I'll glue that on both the eyes and then I'm gonna glue a button over the top of that. And because this is a girl and I wanted to kind of soften her up some, I used uh, light colors as the eyes. Now I could have used dark here. I just, it's just a personal preference. I just wanted them to be light. Now I'm taking another piece of lace and doing the same thing on the other side. And like I said, this just kind of adds some little shabby touches and then I'll put another button on that. Now you could go really frilly with these and maybe put some vintage jewelry on it. Again, with the buttons, I wanna keep them all uh, really soft colors. And then once I got this glued in place, then um, I decided to address that neckline that I wasn't happy with. So I just took that ribbon off and, uh, and then I'm gonna do something different with it. So um, I just took some more narrow ribbon and I chose one that is very vintage and just glued it right around the neckline. And I added some more pink here because I feel like she really needs to be girlied up. So um, I know girly is not a word, but I just wanted her to look more like a, a girl. So, um, so I just glued that around the neckline I often wonder what we would do without hot glue. It just seems like I'm using it all day, every day on something. And I know we would manage, but definitely our crafting would go much, much slower without it. And now I'm gluing some uh, gathered lace at the bottom just to make this look like she's wearing a skirt. So I glue it to where the bottom of the lace will be flush with the bottom of the bunny. And like I said, that simple little touch will give the illusion that she's wearing a dress. And then you can just keep adding little touches to uh, just to make give her more interest and uh, shabby her up a little more and I felt like she needed a pocket here. So I took some muslin fabric uh, and just cut the shape of a pocket and folded that top down and glued that in place and then I add some laces and embellishments to it and then just glue that on like a pocket.
And now that pocket adds another area for me to add some embellishment. And I just thought it would be a good little place to stick a little carrot in. And since I didn't have one the size that I needed, I took some of my air dry clay and just kind of made one. And, um, and then I just kind of uh, st stuck some uh, greenery down in the top of it and uh, used that to put in the pocket. And then I painted it with some watercolor and just stuck it down in the pocket with some extra greenery. And as you can see, all these extra little touches are just really, really making the difference in this Dollar Tree bunny. And now obviously she needs a, a hair bow, so we're just gonna uh, make a little shabby bow with some scraps of lace. And I also added a little heart-shaped uh, button to her neckline. Now, as you can see, I darkened the male up a little more. I just felt like he needed to look a little more rustic. So, um, I had to get creative on how to make him look like a boy. And I just decided to add a vest and a bow tie to this one. And to make a vest, all I did was just cut a strip of fabric uh, the length that the vest should be. And then I cut a hole for the arms. And... Um, and just kind of uh, buttoned it together in the front. And you'll see as I do it, I just kind of created it as I went.
Now, I didn't want the, the lace to make him look too girly, so I just used some coffee-stained um, cheesecloth and just kind of cut a scrap of that and kind of wadded it up behind his eye. And I just love the look that he's taking on. And as you can see, we don't have much at all in him. Uh, just the original $1.25 and then um, some just little scraps. And I was okay with going a little darker on his eyes, so I just went with a dark brown. But I think it's very important that you just use little bitty shirt buttons. If you go too too big with these eyes, I don't think it would look right, but just use your, your very smallest buttons. But like I said, I just love how he turned out. And my sister made these little hang tags up by using um, a, an illustrated uh, encyclopedia and tearing out those images. And I thought those were very appropriate for these little dolls. So now, obviously, I'm going to start the uh, lighter couple, couple, and like I said, I just tea stained those. And as I said before, some of them lost their arms in the dryer, so I just hot glued those back on. But I thought, before I hot glue those back on, I'll just make this the girl, and um, and I'll put her dress on her before I add the arms, and I think that will be much easier. So as it turns out, that was kind of a good thing that those fell off. So I'm gonna do this dress a little differently. Um, because of the way I'm doing this one, this one won't have a pocket. Uh, but I'm just gonna take this wider gathered lace and I'm just gonna keep layering until I build the entire dress. So I just start at the bottom and uh, glue my first layer and then I go up a little more and glue my next uh, until I reach where uh, where the neckline would be. And now I'm taking a more, a more narrow piece of uh, lace and uh, trimming out that top to cover the rest of the neckline.
Now I decided to soften the ears up on this one, the pink part of the ears. So I took some lighter uh, pink lace and I'm just gonna glue it straight on the uh, front of that. And then I'll just trim up the excess.
I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.